a Chilean filmmaker named Alejandro Jodorowsky telephoned me from Paris. Was it Paris, France? Or Paris, Texas? No, Paris, France. He had made an art film called El Topo, which was very well received. And this man over this transatlantic phone line claimed that he had the backing and the rights to make a feature film of Dune. And he loved Dan's work that he did on designing the special effects for Dark Star. And he knew he had to do it at a budget with some creative people. So he hired Dan to work on it, help him with the storyline and also with the special effects. And Dan went off within a few weeks. He went off to Paris and France and places and was working on the Dune project there for six months. And I wasn't the only person there. He had gone to England and he had plucked up a an artist who did covers for science fiction books named Christopher Foss. And for the first time, I saw somebody whose stuff I liked as much as Ron Cobb's stuff. He had another artist he wanted me to meet. He had seen this guy's work in a, a show that was in Paris at the time. Took me over to, to one of the really fancy hotels in Paris, not the one I was staying in, where this artist named um, Hans Rudy Giger was staying while his show was on display in Paris. Giger brings out this little tin foil. He said, would you like some opium? I said, why do you take that? He said, I am afraid of my visions. He said, it's only your mind. He said, that is what I'm afraid of. And he brings out a book, an art book, with his paintings in it. I started looking at this, and he and Alejandro go into a big discussion about Dune. I started looking at these paintings, and it, it took a minute for it to register what I was seeing, but uh, what I was seeing seemed to be very disturbing. Oft-told story of that was Dan, of course, working on the Jodorowsky Dune in Paris for uh, a year or two, and it all collapsed, and he went, you know, he went home uh, with no money and whatever it is and slept on Ron Schusset's couch 